and this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate these two integrals. So let's get started. First one, evaluate integral x cube plus 8 into x minus 1 by x squared minus 2x plus 4 into dx. Okay. So we are given integral x cube plus 8 into x minus 1 by x squared minus 2x plus 4 into dx. Okay. So here you are having 8, right? So we can find prime factor of 8 using division method. Fours are eight. Two twos are four. So eight equals to two into two into two equals to two cube. Okay. So now we'll replace this eight by two cube. X cube plus two cube into x minus one by x square minus two x plus four into dx. Since we know that, see here we are having x cube plus 2 cube which is of a cube plus b cube form. Since we know that a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. We will get a cube plus 2 cube equals to put a equals to x and b equals to 2, then you'll get x plus 2 into x square minus x into 2 plus 2 square, which is equals to x plus 2 into x square minus 2x plus 4. Okay. Now, we'll replace x cube plus 2 cube by x plus 2 into x square minus 2x plus 4. So, this is equals to x plus 2 into x square minus 2x plus 4 into x minus 1 by x square minus 2x plus 4 into dx. This is equals to integral. See here, you can cancel x square minus 2x plus 4 from the numerator and the denominator. Finally, you will get x plus 2 into x minus 1 into dx equals to integral x into x, x square minus 1 into x minus x plus 2 into x plus 2x Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. This is equals to integral of x square plus 2x minus x is plus x minus 2 into dx. So you could write it as integral x square dx plus integral x dx minus integral 2 dx. Now write the constant outside the integral. You will get x square dx, the first term, the first two terms will be as it is, minus, now take the constant outside the integral, okay, since we know that, integral x power n into dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c for n not equals to minus 1 and also we have integral dx equals to 
x plus c. Here in the place of n you are having 2 and here in the place of n you are having 1. Since n is not equals to minus 1. Okay. n equals to 2 which is not equals to minus 1. Here also you are having 1. So we are having both the ends which is not equals to 1. Which is not equals to minus 1. Sorry. So we will apply this formula. Equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 minus 2 into integral dx is x plus integral constant c. We will write only one integral constant for all these three integrals. So this equals to x cube by 2 plus 1 is 3, right? So we will get x cube by 3 plus x squared by 2 minus 2x plus c. Therefore, integral x cube plus 8 into x minus 1 by x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx is equal to x cubed by 3 plus x squared by 2 minus 2x plus c. So this completes the first problem. Now coming to the second one. Second problem, evaluate integral. A tan x plus B cot x whole square into dx. Solution integral A tan x plus B cot x whole square into dx. So this is of the form A plus B into A minus, sorry, A plus B whole square, right? A plus B whole square equals to A square plus B square plus 2ab. So now we are going to apply this formula. The first step a tan x whole square plus b cot x whole square plus 2 into a tan x into b cot x into dx. So this equals to integral a tan x whole square will be a square. Tan x whole square will be tan square x plus b square cot square x plus 2ab into tan x into cot x. This equals to integral log a square into, since we know that one plus tan square x equals to secant square x, then if you take this one to right hand side, you'll get tan square x equals to secant square x minus one. Okay, now replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1 plus b square into you're having cot square x, right? You know that cot square x equals to cosecant square x. Here also we are taking 1 to right hand side so that we'll get cot square x equals to cosecant square x minus 1. Now we will re we'll replace cot square x by cosecant square x minus 1. Plus 2ab. Here you are having tan x and cot x. Since we know that. Cot x equals to reciprocal of tan x. Now replace cot x by 1 by tan x.
equals to integral a square secant square x minus a square into 1 is a square plus b square cosecant square x minus b square plus here you can cancel tan x and tan x and you will get 2 a b into dx. I think I can write here. is equals to integral a square second square x into dx minus integral a square dx plus integral b square cosecant square x dx minus integral b square dx plus integral 2ab dx. Now take the constants outside the integral. Okay. We we'll get a square integral secant square x dx minus a square integral dx plus b square integral cosecant square x dx minus b square integral dx plus 2ab integral dx. Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x plus c. And integral dx equals to x plus c. Integral cosecant square x equals to cosecant square x dx equals to minus cot x plus c. Okay. So now we are going to substitute these formulas. equals to a square integral secant square x dx is tan x minus a square into integral dx is x plus b square into we know that integral cosecant square x dx is minus cot x minus b square into integral dx is x plus 2ab into integral dx is x plus integral constant c for all the integrals. This equals to a square tan x minus a square x minus b square cot x minus b square x plus 2ab into x plus c. So you could write it as a square tan x minus b square cot x. Now write all the x terms minus a square x minus b square x plus 2ab into x plus constant. Okay. This equals to a tan x minus b square. Okay. a square tan x minus b square cot x. Now take minus common from these three terms. So you'll get minus of minus and also x common. Okay. You'll get minus of a square plus b square Minus 2ab. Since minus into minus is plus. Plus c. Okay. Simply you are taking minus common from these three terms. Take minus. If you take minus common from this term, you will get a square. Here you will get, since you are having minus, so we are taking minus common. So you will get plus b square. Here you are having plus. We are taking minus common. So we will get minus 2ab. Okay, fine. So this is the answer. Therefore, integral of 
a tan x plus b cot x whole square into dx is equals to a square tan x minus b square cot x minus or a square plus b square minus 2ab dx plus c. See, you can replace a square plus b square minus 2ab by a minus b whole square. If you want, you can replace. Let's write another step. We'll add one more step here since a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. This is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Cortex minus a minus b whole square into x plus c. Or else you can stop it here. Okay. Therefore, integral a tan x plus b cot x whole square into dx equals to a square tan x minus b square cot x minus or a minus b whole square into x plus c. So this completes the second problem. So we have seen two problems in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.